Hello everybody and welcome back to more Isaac. Today we are jumping in for another run and we are going military mode. We're playing as Samson and we've got everything gun and tank related, military related. So we've got ourselves the tank boys and the helicopter boys from Repentance Plus. Tank boys is going to spawn two toy tanks that roam around the room firing bullets and missiles. Pretty interesting. And helicopter boys is fairly similar but with helicopters. We've got these dudes just roaming around. Jacob and he's out there, little fellas just roaming. Uh, we've got ourselves the command Commander Launcher, this is basically the exact same commando that you'll see in um, Enter the Gungeon. We have the Newgrounds Tank, which is just going to be a nice little bit of stats up, which is lovely. And basically, um, we have a 10% chance to shield from damage, and tiers that don't hit enemies will actually explode, which is kind of nice. I don't know if we can destroy rocks with that. And then, of course, the Swallowed M90 on hit. Pull out an M90, causing your next shot to be a piercing bullet that does extra damage and self-knockback. I just thought that would be a fun addition on top of this so let's go and see what we see what mischief we can get up to with this i mean yeah, i'm really curious to see if our exploding bullets can open up secret rooms or destroy rocks that would be uh that would be very very nice they definitely can okay that is very very good um i think we can do this no that didn't work i was hoping we could like bridge over that gap but they to destroy rocks with our tears here very very nice obviously a somewhat powerful run but a showcase of a good couple of items all at once we get the showcase of four new items all in one go which i just love the idea of um i also like the fact that our explosive shots are only when missing so it's not super strong against regular enemies and one of the reasons i gave myself the m90 here it's because as you just saw, by the way, I'm pretty sure we can carry this M19 into another room. Indeed, we can. As you just saw, one of the caveats to um, the little tank boys and stuff is that they drop missiles and fire missiles, which means that we can very, very easily hit ourselves. which means we can very, very easily accidentally activate the M90. So I thought that would be a good addition on top of this, as well as it just being a gun, like, obviously... That's pretty good. A soul heart plus three luck is not bad at all. Um, and I'm going to obviously keep the trinket I've got right now. Also, another limiting factor as well is we can't take whatever trinket we want. Um, as for the question of the day, are you get, have any of you guys into shooter games? As many of you that have watched the channel for a while know, I, I play Call of Duty quite a lot. Um, I pretty much play it every single year. I am one of those people. Yes, I know. It's terrible. I should not be spending money on a game that is basically the same game last from last year. But I enjoy it, so... I justify it. Um, either way, yeah, if any of you out there play um, shooter games, it doesn't have to be specifically an online shooter or Call of Duty or anything. I'm just interested to know. I know that a lot of people really aren't into those style of games. Grant's Explosion Immunity. No goddamn way. Okay, well, that alleviates a good bit of concern from the run. <laughs> um, one of the main things that was going to really, really trip us up here was the uh, chance at taking random explosions from the various fellas that we have driving around. I do like the way that the green guy sticks with the green guy and the red guy sticks with the red guy. Uh, or seemingly, like, sometimes they don't, but it does seem like often they do. Either way, I like our fellas. They're good. Let's keep moving on. I'm, I'm holding this temperance for the next floor. I'll go alt path. Why not? Because I can get some damage up as Samson here. I played as Samson because he's kind of the Rambo character. I thought with the bandana and stuff and the hair, it just felt right. Excuse me? Oh, there's a poop there now? Why is there a poop there? What happened? I can't believe I got explosion immunity from my item room. That is so crazy. Yeah, what, where'd that poop come from? I'm guessing that the... Oh, no, I forgot my tears explode things. <laughs> I was trying to destroy the poop in case it was still under it. Okay. Requires health, can reward pills, hearts, troll bombs, beggar leaves, are spawning a cursor mountain. Well, that's actually pretty good because I have that. Yeah, okay, so it seems like Lucky Sauce has a chance to drop a poop on us being hit. Give me that. In fact... Give me that. Oh, beautiful. I need to hit this just right. How did I get that first one in one try? There you go. Took a bit of doing what we got there. Just a bunch of pills for us at the minute. I suppose I could get a health up pill. 
get gunned. There's probably some other gun-based items that I'm not thinking of. Turns active items into their corresponding wisp. Oh, wow. Okay, we don't want that, but that's a really cool idea. A SMB super fan as well, baby. I like it. I like it. Can we even manage to get a explosion here? Actually, we can hit the wall. There you go. Yeah. D oh, damn. SMB super fan fully refilled my health. That's rather nice. Okay, that heart is annoying, but I got it. Come on, cash room item, where you at? We're waiting for you, we're waiting for you. Gimpy beggar, stop paying out with pills. The health is nice, but... Come on now, guy. Full health pill. No. Full health pill. No. God damn it. Well, we got a little bit of health here as well. Ah, I had a feeling that was going to happen. Honestly, I'm not going to go full alt path here, so let's blow up the mirror for higher reflected item chance. Why the hell wouldn't we? Also, let's blow this up. I do enjoy the rockets. The mini herming rockets are uh, quite the treat. Don't know what hit me there. Oh, there's a little skitter there that I didn't see. My bad. I'll come back when I've got more red health. I think half a heart isn't really worth the time. I do like the M80, the M90 though. That's uh, it's pretty fun. And item room is going to give me Samson's chin. I am Samson, but I do not want that. What is the f full moon? Every 30 seconds, night falls for 5 seconds, putting all enemies in the room to sleep. Each night grants plus 1 damage up. Um, each night grants plus 1 damage up, cap at 20 damage. If a sleeping enemy takes damage, he wakes up. When an enemy dies at night, night ends and an enemy near him will be given the decoy status. Interesting. So this is just like a stacking damage up, I guess? Did not mean to take a bit of extra damage there. Oh. I lost my um, my luck, my plus three luck. I'm guessing if I got no red hearts. Oh no, it's just I'm in, if I'm not in an active room, I think. Should be looking for secret rooms as well. I didn't look for secret rooms on the first floor, even though I'm pretty sure I'd be able to find them. But yeah, I definitely can, so missed out there. Also gonna have to redo that room. Oh dude, Keeper's Kin. Amazing for us right now. Because destroyed rocks are going to be very common for us when we're spawning all the spiders. Oh, dude, I can't even reach those. That was kind of stupid of me to uh, put all that time and effort into that. Okay, good. Yeah, I didn't actually finish this room. I, I, I only realized as I was exiting it, I left like one enemy alive. I think it was this little goober. This little, this little friend here. Yeah, we got it this time. Good, good, good. Honestly, full health pill. Speed up, though. Speed up's not bad. But yeah, as, as stated before, fairly strong run. Oh, look at all these spiders, baby. A whole different army now. Are you kidding me? That doesn't blow that up. Let me just destroy that real quick. There you go. I got it. I got it. Okay, just, just get out of here. Stop messing around with the fires. This is an XL floor. I, I didn't even notice that I had two item rooms here. Commander, we go. Yeah, I didn't even, didn't even pay attention to the fact that I had two item rooms there. Rather silly of me. Whoa, um, oh, I was like, why have I become a wolf? But I think that's our night thing, isn't it? Get nuked. <laughs> Beautiful. Snake oil. 
Pills, you still have a chance to redeem yourself. Do you know what? Balls of Steel, I'd say, is a fair redemption. I'd say that is a pretty decent redemption. Also, does my tier size influence my explosion size? It, I think it does. It's slightly hard to tell, but it feels like it does. Right, anyways. Two more hits on the Gimpy Boy. Two more hits on the Gimpy Boy. Um, I think I accidentally killed him there. My bad. Oh, I've got enough of the shop as well. Let's go to the shop. I like the fact that I just get spiders from all the rocks I blow up here. It's, it's pretty nice. This run's got some sugar and spice to it. Is that some speed up that I see? That it is. I don't care if it's only a minor amount. Speed up is speed up is speed up. I will always take. Give me all those spiders. Honestly, the the slowdown that I'm feeling from the amount of spiders we have is not ideal. But once we get off this floor and there isn't the water effects when they're moving, it should be okay. I think it's mainly due to all the water effects. I've not got the uh, the piece, but I'm still going to go down here anyways. Red rune, lovely. I'm having a wonderful time with this run so far. I'm having a wonderful time. I've just ordered myself a water pick on uh, on Amazon for cleaning my teeth. I like I I'm not I don't have like bad dental hygiene, but I've definitely noticed that it's not as good as it could be recently, as in like I'm getting food stuck and like it it's starting to I won't say hurt, but like be uncomfortable in certain situations. So I was looking online for like a because I I just cannot fucking floss. I hate it. Flossing's just the worst. I just can't get to the back teeth without like stretching my mouth in weird ways. I just don't find it comfortable. So I was looking for like a good alternative. So I've got a water pick, which is like a little sort of water device that sprays water between your teeth. Some people might find this absolutely fucking gross that I'm even talking about this on an episode, but oh well. Um. Yeah, so I'm gonna try that out and see how it goes. I'm hoping it'll, uh, hoping it'll help. Cause, like, gotta have de decent dental hygiene. And as a Brit, as as many people know, I I have the stereotypical, absolutely horrendously arranged British teeth. Like, none of my teeth are even remotely straight. I have one of one of my back. Uh, so I, I've already had a wisdom tooth out. I wore braces when I was younger and um, ha had to wear a like ret uh, like a plastic retainer. But I did I didn't end up wearing the retainer for long. I think it was only until I was 18, and my teeth ended up bending out of shape after that. So it the retainer definitely uh, sorry the braces definitely helped, but they didn't like completely fix everything. So I've still got one teeth and uh, when my wisdom teeth came in oh boy I had to have one taken out because it was actually like constantly um catching on my gum and causing me quite a lot of pain honestly the amount of pain that I went through getting that thing taken out might as well have just preferred the uh the, the pain that I was getting from the gum because having my wisdom teeth out was one of the most painful experiences of my entire life and I'm I'm a person that's very comfortable with dentists they don't bother me in the slightest um I, I really couldn't care less about going to the dentist they don't scare me don't worry me apparently as a kid I fell asleep while I was having a tooth uh like a filling put in or something um so I just don't care um but saying that Having a wisdom tooth removed is incredibly painful. Um, at least mine was. And I've got another wisdom tooth at the moment that is impacted, which basically means... Do you know how all of your teeth face upwards? Like, the top of the tooth faces upwards? I have one that doesn't. <laughs> it, it face... The, the top of my tooth... Don't even know why I bothered with that. The top of my tooth faces the... Um, the other the, the the tooth next to it it's like impacted against it like at an angle and it causes me all sorts of problems like i get food stuck in it all the time it like sometimes catches my gum it's uncomfortable but like i do not want to get it out because it's like the amount of hassle i go through with it is not worth the amount of pain i went through with my last wisdom tooth removal i just can't like they showed me the wisdom tooth after they removed it they had to like crack like basically smash it into pieces and then take it out again pretty gross for an episode so any of you that don't like stuff about teeth are gonna absolutely hate this so i apologize but we're here now we're we're in the story we're 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 we're, we're, we're in this story now you just gotta deal with it <laughs> um i had to like smash it into bits and like take it out in pieces and then the root was like not only curled it was barbed it had like little sort of offshoots where it was barbed into my gum and um it, it was like 
curled upwards, which meant that when they took it out, basically they had to numb me. They'd, I was I was awake for it because in the in the UK you don't really get put under. Uh, that's not really a, a very common thing unless it's like surgery. Um, like especially for dentists, you never get put under for really anything unless it's like super super serious or invasive. Um, but this they just gave, they just basically gave me a few injections and completely numbed my mouth so I couldn't feel anything. And they just wrecked the shit out of my mouth. <laughs> like to get the to get the actual. Um, the root out. They had to like basically pull and twist and twist and twist until they essentially just made a gaping hole in my face. And this is not to the discredit of the dentist. It's not like they did it incorrectly. That's actually what they needed to do and it like what had to be done to fully remove the tooth. And I, I'd been going to that dentist. Uh, luckily, my parents um, were like with a private dentist um so as a kid in the uk even even a private dentist she had it for free so didn't have to worry about it costing um but it meant that you got seen too quicker and usually a better level of service than you do through the nhs because as, as good as it is having the nhs i'll be honest not always the most uh not always the most skilled people um, not saying they're all bad, but I've had some experiences that aren't great with the NHS. Anyways, so it was it was nice to um, to have people I knew were good, and I'd, I'd been to them many times before, so I knew they were skilled. It's not like they did it wrong. It just, due to the unfortunate nature of how my tooth had grown, it was just impossible to take out in a way that wasn't going to absolutely destroy my gums, which is why they had to numb it, um, and it's why it hurt so much, because in the moment... Didn't really hurt at all. It was uncomfortable, yeah. There was literally... They were just ragging at my face and pulling it all over the place. It was definitely uncomfortable. Hearing the cracks was was pretty pretty awful. But... But... Um... Actually, like, the pain of recovering, like, the, the week after... I was on, um... Codeine, I think it was? Uh... I'm intrigued by this. Um, yeah, I, th I think it was codeine that I was on, uh, which is just a very strong pain relief medicine. It didn't even fucking touch the sides. It it, it did nothing to help. I, I like. It was just so immensely painful for for like two weeks straight. It was just constant pure pain. It was pretty awful to be honest. Um, I mean, obviously I got through it. That was when I was like, I don't remember how old I was actually. Like. 15? Something like that? I think like 15. But this other one, I'm like, ah, if I really have to get it taken out at some point, I will, but I really, really, really don't want to. It would really not be ideal. Also, all all golden pickups is uh intriguing. Come on, little tank buddies, do your thing. Hehehe, <laughs> missile launcher. Bit of telepills. Thanatosis. We just keep spawning loads of golden hearts. Back we go again. I don't really know how an item that gives you all gold stuff is quality one. Even with the downsides, this seems incredibly good. I don't even really need the bombs here, do I? I can just slightly miss and I'll blow them up. And let my dudes blow them up as well. Why is the money running away from me? There you go, get the missile on him. Well, that sure was something. Down we go. We are almost fully golden hearted up. This item is uh, kind of bizarre. Nuke him, boys, nuke him. There you go. Imagine if I had the uh, item, the, the trinket where familiars take on my tear effects with this. Those guys would be firing a bunch of explosive shots all over the place. It'd be wild. Imagine if it turned all pennies into golden pennies too. It 
It seems that I can't get soul hearts anymore, though. <laughs> oh, and troll bombs are all golden as well. Interestingly enough. But yeah, that was enough about my horrible teeth tooth saga. So yeah, like, I'm just, I don't know, I'm a, bit, I'm a little bit worried. And also as well, to be fair, I haven't been to the dentist in a very long time. And that's not out of not wanting to. I really don't care about going to the dentist. Getting a dentist in the UK right now is fucking impossible. Like, if you get a, if you want an NHS dentist, you're on the waiting list for like four years. It's a really, really long time. And then if you want a private dentist, that's fine. But obviously, because I'm over 18, I have to pay for it and they ain't cheap. Like, they are sometimes incredibly expensive. Like, for example, at the minute, I reckon if I went to the dentist, I would, I would need probably a routine, che like, a, a, a routine checkup, obviously, which would cost, I think, like, 40 or 50 pounds, something like that. I'd need, I think, one filling. I've got one, one tooth that I think could use a filling. It's not by any means bad. Um, like, I can easily live with it. Just every now and again, it bothers me. Um... So, but that would be like a hundred and fifty pound, I think. Um, and then if they like, if they wanted to take my uh, wisdom tooth out, which I don't want them to do, but if they wanted to and needed to, that would be like two hundred pound. Um, and then if I wanted to get like a proper um, polish and clean, which I probably would, that'd probably be another fifty pound. So it's like if I go to dentist, like at, at the best case scenario, I think it'd cost me a hundred pound, and worst case scenario, it could cost me like four hundred pound. It's like. Oh man. Oh man, oh man, oh man. I'm uh I am a bit scared to go not for the dental reasons that most people are scared of, being scared of actually having the procedures. Me just monetarily. I I do not want to be paying that much, but at the same time it's like ha, like can you really put that much like of a value on your your dental health? It is very important. So I really should just go, but I don't know. I just I don't really have that money to spare right now. I'd, I'd rather wait until a time where I do. But then again, will that time ever come? I don't know. Like, at the minute, I do have money to spare, but I'm saving that for important stuff. Like, me and me and my fiancé want to get married um, this coming year, and we would like to get a house. Like, those things are, uh, are quite important, and we need to save for them. Secret room, lovely. It's just, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a rough situation. So, at the minute, I'm just going with patchwork. I'm going to try and just use this water pick and stuff and see if I can get by on that. As long as I'm not having, like, any major pain. As long as I'm not having any... Well, I wouldn't say, even say major. As long as I'm not having any pain. Like, if I get any level of discomfort that is, like, not just a, a small instance, if it's, like, on a regular basis, like a toothache or, like, consistent pain... I will be right there. But until that time, I'm kind of like, do you know what? Do you know what? I think I'll be okay. Which, hopefully it's true. <laughs> hopefully that statement doesn't come to bite me in the ass. We'll see. Grab, grab, grab. Red King, it's a bit late for it, but I'll take it. What you got for us? False PhD. Thank you for the golden heart. Thank you for the golden heart. Okay, on our way. This has been a wild run, man. Been a really wild run. I don't know what to tell you, but it's been pretty crazy. One moment. Um, I, one sec. Okay, there you go. I just turned my mic down a little bit in OBS. I noticed my last few recordings were, were peaking my mic a little bit. And I've just noticed it again and remembered. So I've just turned it down just a small bit. It should still be reasonably loud. And definitely uh, louder than the game. But it should, it should now be a little bit better for you guys. A little bit better on the old ears. Look at those missiles go, baby. Look at those missiles go. Need more uh, hearts, more miser hearts. Oh, look at all the explosions go there. That was beautiful. Ah! Right, make sure we're going the right way this time. To be fair, I can just bomb through the doors. Also, we have gained a good amount of damage from this old... This old full moon thing. 
Taurus is not something I'm that interested in, thank you. And we are going the right way, lovely. By the way, this this item, I'm, I'm just realising now, this item that's given me all the gold stuff, the downside is meant to be that it's really hard to gain health. The issue is, we have a mod, I think it's Repentance Plus, that adds in the Miser Hearts, which are the ones that you can see in our health bar, uh, the four that have the money sign in them. And they basically, the more of them you hold, the cheaper the shop is. But they count as real hearts, and they have a small chance to replace golden hearts. Or I, I think it's like a 25% chance, it's not that small. But because they count as full hearts and golden hearts don't, this item's incredibly overpowered because I'm just gaining loads and loads of free hearts that I shouldn't really be gaining. So yeah, that's kind of why this item's so goddamn good. Let's go in here. Um, excuse me? I bought this item. Why won't you let me down there? That's that's just rude. That's just rude. Okay. Crack that open. Do you guys you see you see how this golden heart Oh shit, there's a thingy there. But like, for example, you see how this golden heart, I'll just pick it up and it'll just fill a heart that's there already. It doesn't work the same way the Miser Hearts do. So like this, this Golden Heart I literally can't pick up. Even though I have room in my health bar, it won't let me pick it up. But this one, I can pick up and it adds to my health bar. That's an interaction with this item that shouldn't exist and it's making the item far, far better than normal. Because the, the, the idea with the item is meant to be you have some insane advantages, but... Because normally, you can't get soul hearts or, or any health, really, with this item apart from, like, health ups. So it, it, it puts you in a really rough spot. Can you close, my guy? There you go. It normally puts you in a really rough spot, but for us, it doesn't really put us in that rough a spot. Fire your little missiles. Also, the, having the golden keys to open up all the chests we're getting right now is pretty good. Missiles go. Oh, there's another miser heart. We need that. Keep our self a rolling. Don't care for a fall room. We're just looking for the boss. The amount of money as well is is kind of obscene. <laughs> Not that we need any of it, but it's it's all there. I wish there was something else we could do with it. Up, oh. <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. But, because we have so many miser hearts, everything's like super, super cheap. <laughs> it's not meant to be that cheap. But, I think you get like a two or three cent discount for every miser heart you hold. Because in a regular run, it's very unlikely that you'll ever have more than, um, more than one. It's, it's pretty unlikely, but with this, it's, it's kind of insanely powerful. In ways that it definitely shouldn't be. Missiles galore. I love the herming on them. Nuke her. Nuke her down. To be fair though, I swear the money's actually really good for keeping greed but um, nice and healthy. Greed but... Um, needs every time it basically it does it'll when we take damage it'll deflect that damage and we won't take it but then you'll need i think it's seven coins or five coins to refill it before you can use it again so it's making that a lot easier so you'll see there's a butt like flying around me right now that's like not not fully filled when we grab pennies it is now filled Golden crawl space. Sadly, completely useless, both in terms of it being gold and just in general. Bad crawl space. Beautiful. Ooh, small rock, nice. Nice, nice. Oh, hello. Polly, why not? A golden pill. Oh, 
Okay, my golden pill's gone. That was short-lived. It was beautiful, but short-lived. Ah, oh, we have too many familiars now. It's glitching the hell out. Okay, no, nah, I think we've we've gone under our limit now. I think it's because we had the spider unboxing in there. That's an interesting room normally, but when we have this much money, it's not so interesting. Right, this shouldn't be too bad. Get a few missiles on you. Refill greed butt again. Oh, we've got an I'm excited going on at the minute. That's not ideal. But there you go. Taken care of. Last floor, baby. This has been a pretty speedy run and a fun one at that. Just Ultra Flesh Kid for us. Just give me a golden key and I'll be on my way. That is a lot of bombs coming my way. I didn't realize he'd whip my bombs as well. It's kind of funny to see. There it is. That's what I was looking for, baby. <laughs> Sucker pennies. We definitely need that. Grab, grab, grab. Blowhole retaliation. Okay. The rest of this floor shouldn't be too bad. And there goes Greedbutt once again doing its thing. Hehe. <laughs> the aggressive herming, as I said on those missiles, is just so fun to watch. Size in a jar is actually incredibly good, but... We have a deeper calling. Sissy, baby. I love that golden keys works even if you don't have any keys. Makes it much better. Reaper bum. Unfortunately, we have gone the wrong way here, but it's more chests, I guess, so not all bad. Oh my god, that was a, a lot of golden pennies. Also, Curse of the Tower, where did that come from? Hmm, where do we think we're going here? I guess I'll try up from here, but I'm not uber confident in that. So far, it's working. So far, it is working. Mega. That's actually pretty good for a boss fight here, especially one with boss armor. If I can hit him with it, it would be good, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Oh my god, they keep bashing my bomb away from him. Well, thank you for the full mapping. We're getting him with it on occasion. The blowhole retaliation is doing something as well. My god, stop blasting my bombs away, please. <laughs> Every time. It's so rude of you. Right, boom. You're dead. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Definitely a bit of a weird one, but a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys in the next one.